I got a little secret for you. If you like and subscribe to my channel and click the bell, you'll get updates. <laughs> and I'd appreciate it. Time to play with some clay. Going through my reference material I have on my computer um, and trying to get spark some kind of imagination, uh, some kind of inspiration, trying to spark inspiration uh, as to what I'm going to do next. I I've, I've been thinking about doing a uh, old man and woman standing in a plowed field. Uh, he's leaning on a hoe, and she's standing there shielding her eyes from the sun or something. I'm not sure what I'm going to do yet. But I've been thinking about doing some old dirt farmers from the, the prairie. My grandfather and grandmother owned a, a ranch up in Camas, Utah, which was up in the mountains. And I used to go there when I was a kid with my parents. And um, Grandma Hilda uh, would chase a couple of chickens out in the yard and, and uh, prepare them for dinner that night. That was my first uh, realization that meat didn't just pop out of a machine someplace. It actually came from an animal. But boy, could she cook, could she fry chicken. And she did it on a wood stove. And I remember how hot it was in that kitchen with that wood stove going. I can remember the sound of the old screen door opening and closing. Whenever somebody had to go to the bathroom, they had to go outside to the outhouse. And uh, I can't remember if my grandmother and grandpa had a uh, flowing water in their sink or if they used a pump in the sink. I can't remember. I do remember I had to take a bath in a tin tub outside in the front yard once uh, I, while I was there with my grandparents. I spent a week with my grandfather after my grandmother passed back in the 50s. And uh, I remember spending a week with him and I was allergic to fish and I couldn't eat fish, uh, red meat fish. And that's what he caught in the river was uh, trout. And, and uh, I just couldn't eat them because I would get really, really sick. Um, but my grandpa had a huge baked ham that uh, I guess he had got, had a fix, he fixed or whatever. And I ended up eating his whole ham. And he never let me forget that. <laughs> But I always remember how he wore a hat when he went outside and worked in the uh, fields. And I remember he wore a hat uh, and it shaded his face. His face would get red, but where his hat had been sitting on his head, uh, it was ivory white, the skin. And the same with his arms and his neck. Uh, he'd wear sleeves all the way down to his hands. And uh, so his arms were ivory white too. I always remember that, how smooth and white his skin was. If you, if you ever watched uh, the, the series The Real McCoys on TV back in the 60s or 70s, Walter Brennan reminded me so much of my grandpa. He walked like him and he talked like him almost. But uh, anyway, I just, I'm just i just thinking of doing that. I'm not sure yet if I'm going to. I'm trying to stimulate uh, my imagination right now. <clears throat> I didn't even feel like getting dressed uh, in anything today. I took my shower, 
and kept my robe on and I didn't feel like getting dressed. Just wanted to get into doing some research, trying to stimulate. Spent uh, most of uh, this afternoon downstairs in my studio looking through books, uh, my art books and stuff like that, trying to stimulate. And I'm going to continue doing that for the next uh, few days. So if I don't come back into the studio real quick, it's because I haven't been stimulated yet. Anyway, I hope you all had a happy Thanksgiving. And I uh, hope you'll have a great holiday season this year. I will be back in hopefully a few days and uh, with an idea of what I'm going to do. But right now I'm at the uh, vision stage trying to build my vision. All right. Good night, everybody, and I'll see you next time. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to my channel. It really would help me. Also, check out the link below this video. It will take you to a review of my nine instructional videos that could be very helpful to you if you're thinking of sculpting. Good night, everybody.